Carhartt is an incredibly popular brand these days, and there's a lot of listings on eBay and Depop, Poshmark, Macari, and they all seem to say vintage. And sometimes that's correct, but it seems like a lot of times it's not. So how can we identify the proper age of our Carhartt garments? That's what we're gonna talk about today. Let's get into it. Welcome people of planet Earth and all planets beyond. Thank you guys so much for watching. Yes, today we're gonna to talk about how to identify vintage Carhartt. Carhartt's been around for a very long time, since 1889, and they're still going strong today. Uh, mostly known for their canvas duck jackets, but they have all kinds of stuff. They have denim, they have pants, they have work coats, they have hats, they have all sorts of stuff, and they have it over more than 100 years of history. So we're going to take a look at some of the general methods we can use to identify how old uh, your Carhartt garments are. Now I do want to point out we're not going to cover every single minutia detail that you can use to identify your garments, but we're going to go over some broad strokes that should help you accomplish mostly what you need to is get a sort of decade in mind. And for this there are two main methods we are going to use to identify the age of our Carhartt. And the first one is probably the most accurate and the simplest um, as it deals with most of the jackets and stuff you'll probably find on a regular basis. And that is using the care tags because the care tags on Carhartts uh, for quite a while have had a date code on them. You can find the date code and that will give you the month and the year of production. So first we're going to look at that method and then we'll look at some other ones. So care tags were required on all garments sold in the United States in 1971 by government rule. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean that all the care tags had all this date information right away. In fact, the earliest ones appear to not have this kind of information, but just some general wash instructions. But later on, it appears like maybe late 70s, early 80s, uh, Carhartt started to document the month and year of production with a three or four digit code. So you might see a 1289 for December 1989, or you might see an 0192 for January 1992. And sometimes with the three letter or the three digit ones, uh, the first zero uh, in the month was just omitted, and so it is a 193 or something like that for January 19. 93. This method is the most accurate method and can help you really determine what is a vintage garment and what isn't. Uh, we use a definition here on this channel of vintage being 20 years or older. So often this number is found on the top left of the care tags on your Carhartt garments. Now you can see here in these examples where you might find them and they're generally pretty easy to spot without a whole lot of confusion. So there are a couple other elements that care tags can help us with. Let's say we can't see the um, date code because it's washed out or, or scratched out or something. Well, we can use a couple other things here to help us determine the general age. And the first one is the Crafted with Pride in the USA stamp. This was a trade uh, symbol that was created in 1984 and it seems to appear on Carhartt care tags around that same time. Uh, this is a really good indicator uh, and an absolute indicator that your garment is younger than 1984. So if you see that label, know that you've got something younger than 1984. Now it appears they may have stopped using that uh, symbol in the mid 90s or so like a lot of people did, uh, but at least when you see it, you'll know and recognize uh, what it means about your Carhartt garment. Another thing you'll see on care tags often is the country of origin, where it was produced in. And Carhartt made all of its clothes uh, in the USA up until about 1997. But they still make lots of uh, different products in the United States, so it's not an absolute that if it's made in the USA that you can consider it vintage. But in 1997, they did start manufacturing in other countries like Mexico. And I think later Nicaragua and some other uh, South Central uh, American countries. So if you see uh, a Carhartt garment produced in Mexico or one of these other foreign countries, you can be pretty confident that it is younger than 1997. Now another method that we can use to identify the age of our Carhartt garments is to use the branding. We're all familiar with the big C Carhartt logo that they use today. 
It's on all Carhartt garments just about and is pretty synonymous with American workwear. But they did not always have this logo. This logo actually runs from about 1966 to present day. So if your garment has that big C logo you see here, that is a garment from uh, 1966 to present day, somewhere in that range. Now, anecdotally, I see the Carhartt uh, logo seeming to be more bright yellow in the 80s and a bit like more beige brown uh, in the 70s and 60s. Uh, that seems to be a somewhat of a, a noticeable difference between the two. So if it looks lighter, it's quite possible that it's younger. And if it looks sort of dulled out, um, it's likely that it's a bit older. Now, moving back from 1966, there's a couple of transitions in the 60s that we need to be aware of. And that is, firstly, the two-year period from 1965 to 1966, where Carhartt used this other big C logo that was just way wider way wider and they only used these two logos for about two years uh, this was really in a transition period and these logos obviously did not stick but if you have a garment with these logos on it uh, and it's not a reproduction you're looking at a uh, garment from a 1965 or 1966. now just a few years prior to that carhartt had bought two other workwear companies called headlight and fink and they decided in the early 60s from about 62 to 64 that they would run a label on their garments with all three of those workwear branding. And so they were triple branded, um, but only for about two years before they closed down those other two brands and just stick with the Carhartt. So if you have a Carhartt garment with all three, the Headlight and Fink and the Carhartt branding, your garment is from about 1962 to 1964. Now moving backwards in time prior to these transitions and the modern Big C Carhartt logo, we had the uh, Carhartt logo that's probably lasted just as long as the current one. And that is the Carhartt script and the Carhartt boxcar. These two logos were used uh, on all sorts of different branding, uh, marketing, and garments. And this logo ran from about 1910 to, 19, to the mid 60s or so. So that is a good range for the uh, Carhartt script and the Carhartt boxcar. Around 1950, uh, the Carhartt uh, boxcar logo uh, had the script started to be used diagonally instead of horizontally. So if your Carhartt garment has the boxcar logo, and it's diagonal. I like that it's likely at least uh, young as the 50s. Now going back even further to some of the original Carhartt logos that you can see here. These two are the earliest versions of the Carhartt logo. Uh, the earliest one just literally had a boxcar and a heart. Boxcar plus heart, Carhartt, right? And that logo was used uh, from about 1889 when they first began to about 1910 when they transitioned. And also you had the Hamilton Carhartt, the name of the owner of Carhartt. That logo branding was used as well around the turn of the century. Now, if you have any of those logos from the early days, you've got a very rare piece and congratulations. Now, obviously this method only works in broad strokes because it uh, only follows the branding. Uh, there are obviously a lot of possibilities between the early 19 teens and the early 1960s uh, if you're just using the label method. But it is good to know that if you've got one of those boxcar logo jackets and it's not a reproduction, uh, that you're looking at a pretty old garment nonetheless. Now also of note, Carhartt had a sub-brand called Super Ducks that made hunting clothes and shooting jackets, etc. that ran from 1930 to the 1970s where it was discontinued. And only recently has Carhartt actually resurrected that brand and started producing uh, stuff under the name of Super Ducks. So if you have a Super Ducks garment with a Super Ducks uh, label, you can see some of the examples here. Uh, that garment is from between the 1930s and the 1970s. Now, obviously, the farther you go back, you're going to need to do more research on specific details to get a more precise uh, age of some of those really old garments. But if you have the label method and the care tag and date code method, uh, you can really probably identify 80 to 90% of the car hearts you're going to run into on a daily basis, whether it's in a thrift uh, or in your grandfather's closet, etc. So I hope these methods helped you out and brought some clarity and helped you in your search for vintage gold. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.